Hello there, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, everyone, welcome, welcome back. Today we are going to see a woman who left Christianity to Judaism and then she stayed in Judaism and from Judaism to Islam. <whistles> jumping, jumping like a gorilla. And uh, this is a recollection by this guy. He's uh, uh, the, 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 the worst of the creatures, a black man like me. According to Allah and the Prophet Muhammad, is the worst of the creatures. Actually, he's a scam, 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 scam man, scam. He's a scamming in the internet to make money, uh, to make money. He doesn't believe in that religion. Even is, it, is this YouTube is a, 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 a media which the scammers work to make money, not for the sake of truth or belief or reason, but for the sake of money. All right, let's see, let's go and hear what happened to this woman. This woman, woman. Now, let's hear from the scammer. Mr. Journey that we're about to witness, this girl was born Jewish, grew up Christian, and then eventually she was led to Islam. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's watch this roller coaster. My name is Kaisan. I Kaisan. fairly recently reverted to Islam. Wow. And I wanted to share my story. It must have been an amazing story. I was born Jewish. Must have been an amazing story. <laughs> watch it. Come and watch it. It must have been an amazing story. But was raised mainly as a Christian. I eventually left Christianity in 2005 and believed in the Jewish Hashem for a few years okay. before I started practicing Judaism in 2008. I was at first a rabbinic Jew, then... Now look, in Judaism, where she goes first, ra rabbinic Jew, rabbinic, rabbinic Jew, okay? A Shammai Jew and eventually... And then, uh, the, what, and then where? Um, Sh Shammai Jew. And then Shammai Jew, look. Because there are division in... in, in then a Shammai Jew and eventually a Tanakh Jew. A Tanakh um, Jew. She is jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. Just visiting everything. Not, not, this is, she's not learning anything. She's, there are people like her who just jump and jump without any understanding. Nothing. Um, Tanakh Judaism is kind of similar to Karai Judaism as they're both Tanakh-only traditions. So prayer includes prostration, kosher is kept strictly, and God is called by his name. Tanakh is a name for the Hebrew scripture. I left Tanakh Judaism and Judaism itself in March 2019. Um, there are many reasons why, and I will go through a few of them. Um, first of all, what animals are kosher has been lost. The Hebrew words for a lot of the kosher animals cannot be translated. Really? Also, the Tanakh never says what happens when someone dies. There's also polytheistic verses in certain books of Tanakh, and the prophets, peace be upon them, were always shown in Tanakh to be incredibly flawed individuals. Right. And frankly, people that I would consider unworthy to be prophets. The Quran, correct? Yeah, the Quran. She said the prophets, Prophet Isaiah, Prophet Jeremiah, Prophet, the Prophet uh, Joel, and all the prophets were not worthy. They are not their lifestyle. <laughs> Okay, let's listen. On them were always shown in Tanakh to be incredibly flawed individuals. Right. And they were flawed individuals. Flawed. They had problems personally. You see? And then she left them. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. Frankly, people that I would consider unworthy to be prophets. Yeah. The they were not worthy to be prophets? No, they were not. Isaiah was not worthy to be prophet. Jeremiah was not worthy. Ezekiel and all the prophets of the Bible. They are nothing. They are not. They don't have any moral standard. Come on, man. <laughs> they can't be. It's also said that in Jewish tradition, um, the Messiah cannot die. So, so the Messiah cannot die. Have this one. These two points we are going to uh, discuss. So if Esau, peace be upon him, died as the Christians believe, he cannot be Messiah, but in Islam he didn't die. Um, Esau, peace be upon him, is portrayed in the Christian Testament to be a 
um, a sacrifice, despite it saying in the Psalms that man cannot redeem man. They would All right. Okay, let's go. So this this woman criticized the prophets of God. We none none of them have a character like the Prophet Muhammad. No, none. You cannot find one. One prophet from the prophets of God who has a characteristic, even even one percent of the prophet Muhammad. No, he's the most wicked man who married, who slept, jumped on nine years old girl when he was fifty four. He even stole the underwear of people. The Muslims accuse him. And Allah say, no, he didn't steal it. Somebody else did it. <laughs> the Prophet Muhammad, she's comparing the prophets of God to this wicked man. And she joined. Now she has comfort with, with this prophet, Prophet Muhammad, who took his son's wife, Zainab. This is a prophet, a murderer, a thief, a homemonger, a child molester. What, what? A thief. He was crazy. He said he slept with his wife. He never slept even. The crazy man. And she said, the prophets of God were not right. <laughs> The prophets of God had moral problems. Enjoy Muhammad. Okay. He had 66 women. Sex slaves. Which prophet had a sex slave? Huh? Concubines. Who, which prophet? Who? Can you tell me? And in the, in the Jewish book, the Messiah should not die. No. So Isa, 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 let's go, read. Oh, how poor are these people, especially you women, be careful. Don't jump like a monkey from tree to tree. Now, this is Isaiah 53 is about the suffering servant, Jesus Christ. Jesus, it's about Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to read some of it, but you can. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of us, our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. So he was trapped. He suffered and, uh, and we, um, uh, we, we are healed by his. He was oppressed and was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. His, he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before a shearer is dumb. So he opens not his mouth. Remember, when, the, uh, when they ask him uh, the, before he was crucified, he kept silent until they were amazed. Amazed. Read the, the gospel. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off. He was dead. The Messiah is not going to die. You, you better read. You better read the, the book of God. Rather than jumping from, from religion to religion. In the Jewish religion, Rabbanic, Shammai Jew, and then uh, Tanakh, Tanakh Jew. What is? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Why he was cut off? Because he carried their sin, our sin, my sin, Jesus Christ, my Lord, my Savior, my King, my Redeemer, my amazing, loving God. He was stricken. 
for my transgression and he was made his and he made his grave with the wicked the messiah will not die according to uh, the jewish this is a jewish book the tana the messiah they she's reading something which is not in the book which is who is flawed of course every human is flawed Every human is not perfect. The prophets, they are strong under, they were strong under the spirit of God. God guided them. God gave them the power. Huh? And he was made his grave with the wicked. He was buried with the wicked. He died, was crucified, and he died. Because in the, what did, what did she say? What did she say? Let's let's listen. Let's listen her. Rambling. Consider unworthy to be prophets. Uh -huh. The Quran corrects that. Correct. It's also said that in Jewish tradition, um, the Messiah cannot die. So if Isa, peace be upon him, died, as the Christians believe, he cannot be Messiah. But in Islam, he didn't die. Um, Isa, peace be upon him, is portrayed in the Christian Testament to be a, um, a sacrifice, despite it saying in the Psalms that man cannot redeem man. It would imply that Allah approves of human sacrifice and that Allah can die. So the Christian view of Isa, peace be upon him, doesn't seem right and isn't right. Isn't right. Doesn't seem right and isn't right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But the, the Allah said somebody was, I let somebody like Jesus to be crucified. Why? Why? Can you tell me? So this is, this is a woman who ever jumped to from religion to religion now she is in the net now she's just she get in the right net she cannot come out of this unless her grave comes out her grave can they they can't take her out from from this wicked religion which is called islam yeah but the bible says jesus the son of the living god This is a prophecy of Isaiah 53, 700 years before the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. A prophet under the inspiration of God told what would happen, will happen in the future uh, to the Christ, Christ, to the King the Christ, the King of Kings. Yeah. Yeah. But he saved us. He gave us. Yeah, he gave us life. He redeemed us. By his blood, we have everything. We have our breath. We have our soul. We have our everlasting hope and redemption through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. He was, he made his grave with the wicked. So what? He made his grave with the wicked. What is what? Was he sleeping in the grave among the wicked? <laughs> so that's it, that's it uh, for today. Thank you for watching. May the Lord richly bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.